Hey what's going on everyone, Vasco here and welcome back to the channel. Now Haas just unveiled the first car of Formula 1's new era with our new VF22. They've just launched a few pictures on Twitter, so let's take a look at them right away. Okay, so here it is. This is the first picture of a 2022 car and I must say I'm pretty astounded by the pictures I'm seeing on my screen right now. So this is the Haas VF22 and this is the beginning of a new era for Formula 1 cars. Now, right away, I can tell you that I, the livery is about the same from 2021. And if we ignore all the controversy surrounding the Russian flag in 2021, it's a pretty good livery. I like this. It's like a modern classic livery and I quite enjoy it. Now, there are a few things I'm noticing on the car right away. And it looks like a very simplistic design of the 2022 regulations. But there are some things that pretty confuse me. So looking at the car from the front, you see these big side pods and I just wasn't expecting the side pod shape to be this big. Now, there's something weird about this picture because of the way that the side pods are shaped. They look huge from the front, but still, it's amazing to see the new car designs. I'm so excited and this is the first time I'm seeing these pictures right alongside you guys. So. Some of the details that are making me the most interested are this front wing end plates, which seem to be curved in a way I wasn't expecting, and also the way that this, these side pods are also massive. Now, this car doesn't look to be the full car that Haas will bring to the table in 2022, just because some of their aerodynamic surfaces are very simplified, especially here around the rear of the floor. Now, surrounding the front of the floor, I'm very interested in this surface right here because this is the entrance of the Venturi Tunnels and if you want to know more about the Venturi Tunnels, you can check out my 2022 Aerodynamics video right here. But this Venturi Tunnel entry looks very interesting and you can see that by looking from the top, Haas seems to go with a three ton with a two tunnel layout, which I think it's kind of weird because they are allowed up to four. So it's kind of weird that they went with two tunnels. So you can see that the tunnel separation right here, one tunnel and then two tunnels with my mouse. It's kind of weird to go only for two tunnels. I think most teams will end up with four tunnels to generate the maximum amount of downforce. But then again, I just don't think that this is a launch spec car. Now, something that you can see from this, you can see from these pictures actually, is the DRS mechanism. So 2022 cars will feature DRS, but this car just isn't featuring it. Now, I think that the car looks very, very good and it's amazing to see these 2022 cars. They look so good and the Formula 1's new era just looks so good. Now, unlike what I was expecting, the front wing actually comes here in front of the nose. And this is very different from all of the renders that all of the other Formula 1 teams published where the front wing just came up here to the nose. Now it's very interesting to see this because I just wasn't expecting the front wing to go such forward because I thought it was going to make the front wings very fragile to any impact. And something else you can actually see from the Formula 1 car that you don't see in this one is that the front wing is curved on all of the renders and in all of the models that Formula 1 teams have revealed and in this one, it's just that V shape that we are used to. Now, I think that this looks very good, but I'm mostly enjoying the design of that rear wing. I think it looks very, very good, but right away you can see that there are no end plates around the rear wing. So the, the ways that this car will produce downforce from the floor and not from the front or rear wings are very, very clear. Now, another aerodynamic detail that I think it's very interesting are these wheel fairings. So the wheel fairings are in Formula 1 and these are used to control the wheel wake and I thought that they were going to be bigger honestly. I thought that these wheel fairings were going to cover more than half of the wheel profile but they don't even reach halfway. Now the, this makes sense from a drag standpoint but it's something that I just wasn't expecting. And talking a little bit more about delivery I like it a lot. I think that they refined the livery a lot. Now, I love white cars. They are my favorite liveries. And ever since the 2009 Braun GP, I just love a white car. Unlike in 2021, this doesn't look at all like a rush design. 
and it looks like a very good livery. Now, I think there's a bit too much of white in this livery. I would like to see a little bit of color around this area, but I understand what they are aiming for, and they are probably aiming to have a few more sponsors in this area of the car, which would make it look entirely better immediately. Now, something else that you can see are the brand new wheel covers. Now, these are standard across every single Formula 1 2022 car, and they just look very good and they complete the design of the cars very well. Now, by looking at the rear wing, you can already tell some of the ways that the teams are trying to bend the scope of the 2022 rules, because in the 2022 rules, you saw that the rear wings were going to be these smooth surfaces right here, but now we already see a lot of sharp edges that are inevitably going to generate dirty air. Now, this was something I expected, but I didn't expect it to be in the rear wing in this way. And you can see that this V-shape is back in order to control the amount of drag produced by the rear wing. Now, something very interesting from this picture also is that the rear diffuser has almost no detail and I bet you that even if I brought the exposure up on this picture, I would see almost no detail in this picture. Now, this rear part of the diffuser alongside with the front part of the diffuser and the entry of the Venturis that we cannot see anything about are the keys for these regulations, so it's normal that teams are trying to hide these details in these renders. Now, I just find these side pods very funny, they, are, they just seem so big for some reason, and I just don't think that most teams will have side pods like this, or even the Haas, but then again, this is just a render, renders usually look weird, and this is something that we need to take into account because once we see the cars in Barcelona over the next few weeks they almost surely won't look like this and it's also very interesting to see the, the way that teams are going to bring this floor in a rounded shape right here at the back in order to control those Venturis in the best way possible. But once you see this car on track, I expect to see a lot more details and I expect to see this livery in all of its might. So to round things up, I think that Haas has a very good concept here and I'm finding the number of Venturis that they have just a little bit weird, but then again, this is just a render and no team is going to show their hand in these renders. Now, I just love the design of these 2022 cars. I couldn't wait to see one real 2022 car in a picture that was not the Formula 1 render, and I'm enjoying what I see a lot. So I'm very excited for this new year of Formula 1, and I just enjoy this livery a lot. And if I had to grade it, I will have a video grading the liveries one by one at the end of the launch season, but I would give it a 6 to 7 out of 10. I quite enjoy this livery. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick preview of the 2022 has the VF22 and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe it helps out the channel a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can also watch my latest video right here exploring the aerodynamics of Formula 1 2022 if you want to know a little bit more about these cars. So with that said that's been it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!